Hi all. Today let's focus on the draw image method available in the canvas API. The draw image method can be used to draw images on the canvas from other sources like the image tag, the video tag or even other canvas elements. So for demo purpose I have created an Angular 14 application in which I have added an image tag which shows this particular image and also I have created a canvas element which will be used for rendering from this particular image element. So let's go to the app component.ts. So here I have added two view childs, one to query the canvas and other to query the image. So in the view init lifecycle of the component, I am adding the process image private method and first I get the reference of the HTML image element and here I add the callback for the onload event so that I will be made aware once the image gets loaded completely. So once it is loaded we will make use of the canvas element and call the get context method which can be used for getting the context of our canvas. So here it is using 2D. So once we receive the context, we can call the draw image method. So this is the simplest form of the draw image method where the first parameter is a source of the image. So in this case, it is an image element. And secondly, we can give the X and Y coordinates of the canvas. So within the canvas from where we need to draw. So I am giving the points as 0 and 0. So if you go to our application, this is our image tag and here in the side you can see the small canvas element where this particular image has been copied over. So in the current example you saw that the draw image method in this scenario basically creates a copy of the image element and it draws it on the canvas. Since the size of the canvas is much smaller, only a portion of the image gets drawn here. So suppose we need to resize our image so that in scenarios like we need to show the thumbnail of the image, we can make use of the draw image itself. But it is a slightly variant or overloaded method of the draw image. So here again the source you can provide along with the X and Y coordinates. But along with that you can provide the width and the height of the destination. So that will be the resized dimensions of the image. So once we provide this, you go to our application, you can see that we have basically created a smaller version by resizing the original image onto the canvas. Another common use case of the draw image method is in case you need to clip an image and extract a particular portion of the image. So in our example here I need to copy or just clip the portion of the bridge alone from this image. So how can we do that? So we have another overloaded version of the draw image method. So here these are the parameters. First you provide the image source. Then we give the X and Y coordinates of the source that is the source image along with the width and height of the portion which needs to be clipped from the source image. So once you provide that, again you can provide the X and Y coordinates of the destination canvas along with the width and height of the canvas image. So here I have given these numbers. When we run our application, you can see that the portion of the bridge alone from the source image, it has been clipped and copied over to the canvas. So now let's see how we can make use of a video element and how we can extract the data from the video element and render it on a canvas. So first let us add the video element in our HTML and I am commenting out the image tag. Now let's go to the app component and I added the view child for the video element. And I also 
created a new private method called process video which I will call within the after view in it. Now within the process video first we call the navigator dot media devices dot get user media with video flag as true so that we can capture the video from our device. So once we get the stream first we extract the video element then attach the stream to the video dot source object so that we will be able to view the stream within our application. Now once I have done that we get the canvas element and call the get context 2D so that we get the context. Now since it is a video we need to get frames from within this video element and then draw it onto the canvas. So for that I have created a private method called animate and within the animate we call the context dot draw image. So this is quite similar. First we call the simpler version where we give the source as the video element and the x and y coordinates of the canvas where we need to draw the frame. So within the animate we recursively call the animate method again so that we can see the video on the canvas. Also we should comment the process image method. So once we comment that when we go to our application you can see that the video is playing and the video it's a portion of the video is getting rendered on the canvas as well. So since this is the simplest version of the draw image we will be able to see only a portion of the video. So now let's try to resize our video to a smaller size by making use of the draw image. So in this scenario we can use the second format where we provide a width and height for our destination canvas. So let's comment the original draw image. When we go to our application you can see that a smaller version of our image is getting displayed and since we are continuously calling the request animation frame the canvas will show us as a video itself. And finally we have the requirement where we can clip the video and extract a portion of the video so that it can be rendered on the canvas. So for that we make use of the third format of the draw image where we provide the size of the portion of the video which needs to be clipped and also the size of the destination canvas. So once we have provided that we go to our application you can see that only a portion of the video is getting rendered on the canvas and the video is clipped. So hope you are able to get a good idea about how to make use of the draw image method in the canvas API and also what are the different use cases for which we can make use of the draw image method. See you soon. Thank you.